We could try it. Why not? Puzzle Sigma. We got a plus sign in pain. You have to make it to a flag, all right. Simple enough. <laughs> you have to add the stuff together. All right. And if any part of you touches the flag, you win. It's a math game. Funny. But now I can't detach. Well, no, I could rotate, right? Cool. Subtraction. Well, I have to touch the two. Oh, hold on. Restart. I want to touch the two, and then I want to rotate. Two minus one. Cool math games. Oh, boy. And now it gives you options. Um, it's simple. Six. Oh, it doesn't flip the number over. I thought it was being clever. I thought for sure if you rotated, it'd flip it over. All right. Um, how does it work if, um... I do this. It does become a big number. Okay, well that suddenly adds a bunch more depth. It becomes 16. Does this count? Is one plus one? Yeah, it does. Oh great, so you can add it both ways. Oh no, this is gonna be some really tricky math stuff. Let me start with this and then rotate it for two. No, I have to do three minus one at some point. That's why I've realized. All right, three minus two is one. I want to do 12 minus three now for nine. And now, how do I get to two? Oh, 23 minus 21. Mm, we can do it. Nice. I'm glad rotating lets you go through walls. That's very kind. Okay, nine minus three to get six, and then to get four, it's just 13 minus nine. Very clever way to do math. Well, I'm glad I played this. This is, uh, I don't think I saw this on my page, so I'm enjoying this. Uh, 12 minus 5 to get 7. Of course, we have to get 3. Isn't just the 3 matters, right? 5 minus 2. Oh, son of a gun. I see. There's an issue now. Well, I can do 12 minus 5. And now it doesn't matter what I do. We have another plus sign. Does that move? You can push that around. Oh, God. It, I have to figure out how to add three twice, basically. So I do three plus one is four. And then reverse this real quick. And then get the plus on this. Maybe... Yay, counts them both. Bad news is... How the f, f do I make this flag? So what if it's more like an L-shaped? This isn't how math works. Well, that's because you uh, went to the school for idiots. This guy went to the school of elite mathematicians. He clearly knows how math works, you dummy. What about, like, negative 3 plus 12? Well, no, but, you know. That's not negative. Okay, what about 1 minus 3? What in the fuck? 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 3. Why is it minus 1 minus 3? So what we do is rotate this whole thing around. That works, there we go. Gotcha, yeah, so three's gonna be counted twice in this game. This isn't even addition, we just have to figure out how to get past. So we have to create an L, right? And then rotate our way in. What if I am like here? No. What if it's just a line? What if it's more like this? There we go. And I don't need to do an elbow. I just need to do that. Multiplication. Let's go. See, we're almost done with the game, but I feel like they could get really mathy with this. Multiplication and subtraction. I know for eight, it's like five minus three and three times two. That's not too, uh, too bad, actually. So what I do is I set this up. And then I set it up like, nope, that, we get the two. And now I set up the three, two times three, three, but it's five minus three. So if I rotate like this, there we go, perfect. But now I can't get in, I'm too bendy. So reset. So I need to come like this. There we go. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop, 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 whoop. We get the two right here. 
and then rotate again and it should be good nice what a cool level plus as well one four and nine oh but there's also a minus son of a let's do one at a time one at a time technically i don't even need to get the one i could just think about the four and nine so i could do that with like one plus three let's maybe start with that and then to get to nine I feel like the times thing is under or is attached to the wrong thing. Like I wanted to attach here so I could maybe have something times one. My issue with that is that there's no effing way I'm getting into the flag. So let me reset again because what I want to do then is rotate and then go here. There. So four times one and then three minus two. Now can I rotate there is the question. I can. Hold on, I'll wait for it. Wait, can I not? I'm too tall! Because I, I see the equation, it's just we physically cannot do it. So rotate now, and now we just have it on us. So now we can do hopefully everything we've done before. Actually, this might work. So we could again rotate. No, hold on, not now. Rotate. Ah, awkward. We got four. Rotate back. <gasps> we picked up the four. Ah, fuck. Hold on. There we go. We got four. Now, can I save this? Nine. I cannot believe it. Let's go. The plan came through. What an interesting game. You have to figure out all the ways to get to nine and then which ones you can do. That was sweet. In sickness and in hockey. Somewhere on this earth, tucked far, far away, our ancient tradition takes place to this day. A marriage begins in the midst of the night, but must only continue if the score is just right. I tether this rope from your ankle to mine to show that our love is an infinite line. We play for our marriage, we play for our life, for a higher score, for a happier wife. Husband, WASD, and wife has arrow keys. Oh, your grandmother is throwing a present onto the ice. The characters are sliding around. I have to control two sickos at once. So we have to... Oh, God. Rope the presents? My gift was an extra puck. So we have to use the line to slap these pucks into the goal. Amazing. We got an extra net for a mother. Goal! <laughs> this would actually be a hilarious co-op game. But aunt is throwing a present on the ice. Wedding gifts. It doesn't look like there's like, it, it looks very sandboxy and I feel like that's the best way to do it. No, there's a timer. Your marriage will be tepid and unpleasant. Try again. I can do better. March and forward. Launch it. Easy goal. Already got this down. Bring in the wife a little. Try to angle this. Oh God. Oh boy. Let's angle slap shot. Almost had that goal. Let's go. Angle this one. Bounce that in. We're already way better present in the goal we got an extra net side by side net so let's get that bouncing and then send that in the long way goal uh, let's make this a little shorter let's get you in here line this up and goal oh crap oh we six i thought i was doing much better than that hold on come on no through my line my marriage will be peaceful but you will pine for what could have been Imagine this with a PvP version. This would be an amazing 2v2 game. I gotta at least get 10. Four. Okay, let's go. Actually getting better. Come on. Let's go. With my best yet. Oh, come on. Come on. We got 10. That's gotta be it. My marriage will be exquisite and ravenous with hundreds of children and parties. Hundreds of children. I, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's terrifying. You guys should play this one. Let me know uh, what your score is. All right. It's called Maze of the Minitar. Here's our Minitar, dude. Does he just... Oh, up the jump. All right. So we get through simply. But we can shift around the world itself. So we're platforming and controlling the world. Fun. Oh, and you can move them side to side. Well, all right, pretty simple so far. I like where this could go. So we have to connect these two. And then what I have to do is move this over and then this up. 
almost like Rubik's Cube vibes. They added in a little enemy. It can, wait, so we can just warp through this way. I'm glad the enemy shows us how it works. Whew, oh boy. Let's try it like this. Send this down, come in here. There's actually a lot of ways you could shuffle this around, but this is static for sure. And it's just these five that can switch. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't like where I am right now. I'm gonna restart this. So again, it's just these five. We have to kind of work backwards. Before coming into this, where do I come from? It could be from here or from here. So that's not too bad then. So I just come in here, be up here, and then send it down. Working backwards, beautiful. Cool concept. So next it's only the cross that can swap around. Let me kill the both the monsters so I don't have to worry about them now. So from here, we have to go from here. So as long as you just get into here, it's not too bad. Just the important part is make sure the monsters die. Triple X, so we have to wrap around the back. No, we can just cross over like that. Oh, that just straight up kills us. We have to wrap around like this. That's funny. I need to think about this. So we have to kind of come, I guess, from the top into that. So we have to enter this. Ideally, we want to enter this thing if I can help it. So it's like I want to go here, then come here. Because this will at least let me... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do it like this. I wanted to enter here. So now I want to enter here. This is awkward. I think this works. So now we can enter here. Yeah, that works, barely. Just hang out here. And then have this come up. This is a really roundabout way of doing it, but if it works, it works. We don't question th things that work. All right, so we have to make it to the key. The key is thankfully immobile. So at least that narrows down the possibilities. We have to get to, I think, this one right here. Probably into here as an intermediate one. Then send this one over. Nah, well, this way is fine. And then into here. And now we can make it to the key. From there, though, we do it like this, then that, and we wrap around. Key acquired. So now, how do we get into here? We probably, again, just make it into here. Easier than the previous one. The end. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the type of game the dev keeps working on. I like the game. I like the game a lot.